What's up everybody, Sly Shooter here, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, and I am super bored. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm doing this live, and the horse just commit suicide on the rock, but this is a weird intro to the video. But anyways, um, I know I haven't done a commentary video in a really long time, and it's been about maybe like five months, or... What the hell is that? Is that a bird? Jeez, I can't even do my introduction video without weird shit happening it's just red dead for you but uh yeah it's been about a couple months since the cod 4 remastered walkthrough with commentary and i've been a really shitty youtuber and you guys have every right to be like what the fuck dude you never post any freaking walkthrough videos or commentary and you know every time you do you do it with a game i don't even want to watch <laughs> and i'm so sorry but i saw red dead 2's trailer the other day and no joke, I almost fucking jizzed my pants watching that thing. I, I watched it like ten times. And I've been playing like Red Dead Redemption like a madman for five days straight. And I kind of thought to myself, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to create a brand new save, a brand new John Marston, and I'm going to relive this game solely for my YouTube channel. And I'm going to do it in parts. And it's not going to be necessarily like a walkthrough. I'm just going to play it how I normally would play it on my own time. But I'm just going to record it with commentary. And, you know, I, I feel like you guys would enjoy that and it would kind of buy some time to kind of get every little ounce of Red Dead Redemption before the second one comes out. Because, let's just be honest, the sad reality is after Red Dead 2 comes out, no one's going to give a shit about this game anymore. It's going to become irrelevant unless they remaster it, which I doubt they'll do. But, you know, I figured I might as well make an episodic, you know, series on the one game that I love and it's my favorite game of all time. And I'm playing on my other 100% completion save here. So let me just get this started for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm not really sure how long I'm going to make these uh, videos. Maybe about 20 minutes or 40 minutes depending on what I do. But let's begin a new save right now. Hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, baby. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, 
is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. But John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. All right, cutscene's finally over. Kind of a good introduction to the world of Red Dead Redemption. You get delivered by those marshals. Here's Armadillo. <laughs> get away from me, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Way to start out the first mission with a bang. Just push a drunk guy. <clears throat> John Marsh. He's just grabbing her tit. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Come on, Come on. Saving. Man, I'll never forget the first time I played this. Alrighty, Mr. Marson, let's get it. Here you go. My old farm. Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Good evening. I'll be honest with you guys, this mission's a little boring. Mercy, you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. <laughs> so what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. No, you... I'd save those bullets for Fort Mercer if I was you. 
<laughs> I love shooting cactuses in this game. Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. See, I try to stay quiet because there's a lot of dialogue that happens in these like little horseback rides to the missions. You know, so I don't want to spoil too much. Time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine <laughs> as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. <laughs> ain't we all? <laughs> wow, what a scumbag. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go. Whoa. See, like I said earlier, I, I'm not gonna like just go from mission to mission. I'm gonna really like. Oh, it was the marshal. Hold on a second. <laughs> Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm not gonna like go from mission to mission. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, go around and, and do some other things like develop my character, you like do the sharpshooter skills and stuff. Dog, mister, it's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you better off not knowing. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good Shoot the coyotes. Come on, Mr. Marston, that ain't how we do things around here. Deal. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. All right, here we are. I'll try to shut the fuck up for the remainder of this shit. This is going to be a long beginning. <laughs> Left to Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but like I said, I'm not going to go from mission to mission. I'm going to have to repeat myself three times with all these freaking dialogue, but... But let's, uh... Yeah. I'm just going to play this naturally and not rush anything, because... I want this series to drag on a little bit. But let's... Let's go up and talk to these people at Fort Mercer. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Damn. Damn it, John. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, finally. It's such a long beginning of the game, but, you know, now we can finally play the fucking game. <laughs> so, John's trying to find Dutch and try to rekindle with his old gang, I guess. It's been a while. I need to, I need to pay attention to the story myself. <laughs> Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Yeah, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Oh, shit. You left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. God damn, Rockstar is so good at making these cutscenes and stuff and developing the characters. Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me oh, control Oh, baby. Oh, oh, Lord. Back some of that money we wasted on <laughs> Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Alright, well, I guess it begins. Here's my safe house. I like how I'm holding my will. I'm like, ugh. Join Bonnie. Yeah, I guess we gotta do this one tutorial mission, because I think after this is when I can actually start, like, free roaming the map. Is there anything, like, even shown here? Yeah, nothing's even shown, so I gotta do this tutorial mission here. There's the train. There she is. There's Bonnie. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about oh, time I sorry. paying back that fifteen dollars. Yeah, much I can shove her around. Well, no, time to waste. no, I can't. Horses are saddled up over here. Horses are saddled up over here. Hold circle to focus on important people. Oh, I have to stand next to her. God damn. Well, go! Gosh, I hate the beginning of video games. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. You know, if you guys have never played this game, I mean, first off, it, I'd much rather prefer it if you play it yourself, but, you know. I'm gonna try and play this like as naturally as I can so that way you can be like you know you won't feel like I'm gonna spoil anything along the way I'm gonna keep spoilers clean and just assume that everyone watching has never played this game so that's kinda how I'm gonna do the whole series to your right is the general store you won't find Parisian so if you're gonna like I don't wanna watch this series cuz I'm afraid you're gonna spoil something don't worry I'm not gonna spoil anything cuz this game is too good to spoil stuff But it's a little annoying for me because I've played this game like five times. <laughs> so I just kind of like dive right in and just fuck around and not do this tutorial stuff. But 
That's just my patience. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. <laughs> That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folks. Yeah, they put a gold skin on the weapons. I don't know if I like it though. All right, jeez, lady, God. Fucking Bonnie. Whoa. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna have too much time to play this game until part two that and really have fun. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Well, that's great, Bonnie. I could care less right now. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Hitchma. Well, are we going in? I or? never do that ever. Like, I never hitch my horse. When I get off of it, it's just running around like a idiot. <laughs> and most of the time, if I'm in a shootout, it'll just, like, run in the middle of the shootout and it'll get shot. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Hey, maybe you can give me a massage too. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Sorry. I think Bonnie's hot. <laughs> Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. Yes. We get to finally kill something. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol Hell the range. Yeah. I love I'm grabbing my wound like, ah, oh, shit. Good God, look at the stars. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus, look at that. This is a fucking PS3 game. You know, a lot of people uh, have, you know, told me this and they're like, hey, Sly, why don't you uh, make the Red Dead videos on 360? And I do have the 360 version, and it is it is true that 360 version does look a little bit better. But I grew up with this one. And it's just the one I can control the best, and I don't know. I just feel comfortable playing this on the PS3. We should make quite a team. Yeah. Just my preference. The game doesn't look too terrible on PS3. It doesn't look that much better, but definitely does look a little noticeably better on PS or Xbox 360. Give me a hand, will you? Sorry, rabbits. Playing on expert aim. Oh, I'm so sorry, rabbits. <laughs> uh, they're gone. Yeah, I usually keep this on um, expert, which is the way to go. I mean, most people can play on normal. It's a little soft lock, but... Expert's the best, because it's not like a 100% free aim like GTA 5. Like, there's just a minor, minor soft lock when you're going over enemies and animals and stuff. And, oh, I can't skin these rabbits? That's stupid. Whatever. We should keep moving. There's still a way oh, by the way, if you don't like uh, animal cruelty or something like that, if you're one of those sensitive guys... Uh, this is like a hunting game, you know, so I'm going to be killing a lot of animals because that's like, first off, the best way to make money in this game. And it's also just a, so much fun. I mean, hunting in this game, it's like, it's almost like a Cabela's hunting game within within an open world game. It's incredible. So, yeah. If you don't like animals getting shot and stuff, my recommendation, don't watch this. So don't even bother to flag this for animal cruelty or anything, so, you know, I try not to kill any animals that I won't skin. I have dead eye. let's do it. Oof. Coyotes are so cute in real life, but the truth is, oh, look what they're doing there. He has a 
chicken in this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, easy up now. The truth, if you have like a farm in real life, I mean, coyotes are a pain in the ass. They will kill your livestock and your pets and. You know, you can actually but handle it's so sad because they also are really cute animals. Maybe Bill Williamson but. did get lucky after all. Good thing I don't have a farm, so I don't have to deal with it. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. Dude, Bonnie wants to have sex with me. <laughs> Sexual tension, you could cut it like butter in this game. Whoa! She'd seem like the perfect wife for John, but... John's a married man. Or, yeah, married man. Right, we gotta hitch our horse again. Slow it up now. Come on. Bonnie, or I'm gonna do something stupid. Alright. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kinda happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Alright, now we're finally getting into the free roam aspect of this game. Because pretty much after this, you can do whatever you want. You don't even have to do the rest of the missions. You can pretty much buy everything. You can get ammo from there. And... Yes! Finally, we can play this game. General stores. Alright, but first and foremost, let's save our game. Yeah, see what... But the star on the left corner there, that means that has cheats. So that's usually what I do my kill compilations on. I have like a nice cheat save and then I have a pure like non like cheat save and you know, I just do all my stuff for trophies and 100% completion and stuff and I try to play like a respectable person so I'm going to do that in this. Let's put that right in the middle. I hope to god I don't fucking overwrite my save <laughs> with the 100% completion. Oh shit. See, the social club put a bunch of shit in here. See, I got outfit. Oh, they put these in there. Oh, they actually have challenges. That's weird. That's kind of cool. What else do I got? Oh, sick. Yeah, they put this in here. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so badass. Alright, I'm not going to do that though because it doesn't really fit the character right now. Because honestly, I play this game more like a role-playing game. And actually, what I'm going to do is... Let's go. I'm going to start preparing to... Uh, not going to do the mission yet. I'm going to go around and there's this thing over here called your journal. You can do challenges and strangers. While traveling the frontier... Oh, you know what? I guess I... Might need to do a mission after this to unlock that. So, I guess let's do this mission one more time. Oh shit! I'm sorry, man. Alright. I guess we have to do another mission for unlockable stuff. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. 
But I bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Bullshit, lady. Man, I will support you good. Come on, boy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't a very action-packed beginning to the game. You know, it's kind of slow and boring, and it doesn't, you know, hesitate to. Three. Oh wait. Two, We're about to start, anyways. One. Go. I, I might fuck this up. <laughs> But yeah, it's not a very action-packed beginning. It's pretty, pretty boring. The first missions are all like farm kind of missions, and oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, she actually beat me. God. Call yourself a dangerous outlaw? Here, I need to rebuild my stamina here. <laughs> you got problems with your spurs? Shut the f <sighs> This bitch, man. She's so competitive. I fucking love it. <laughs> You're lucky I'm being a gentleman! Oh my god, my stamina! <sighs> god, did I like forget how to ride a horse in this game? I'm so used to my three-star, like, extremely fast horses that I'm not used to riding the slow-ass horses yet. Come on, Mr. Marston! Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of this. Trap, bitch. Come on! Hope my, my horse farts right in your face. Let's go, Mr. McFarland! Haha! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you bitch. Damn, look at that view. Ugh. Ugh, where the fuck is the path? Jesus. Alright, I'm coming. Don't go easy on me! I'm coming, bitch. What the fuck? Oh, sh- Oh! Oh. What the fuck? All right, well, that's the first way I'm going to die. Oh. God damn it. Did I really just die on, like, the easiest fucking mission in the game? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, three. I'm all the way back three, here. Two, one, go! Oh, I you fucking cheat. About this. Bitch, no, I am not going to be a gentleman. I'm going to be a fucking asshole. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, I'm pissed, so that means I'm gonna... You know, this is actually easier camera angle, because I can look at the path. Oh my god, I really gotta be careful about that fucking bridge. <laughs> Are you saving the best for last? Haha. <laughs> Alright. Come on! I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! Miss McFarland! I'll wait for you to catch up! <laughs> That's right, ho. Oh shit, she's actually catching up. <laughs> Man, look at the moon, it's so freaking pretty. Oh shit! What the fuck am I doing? Oh! Dude, I am out to lunch, what the fuck? Oh. Well, great. It's okay, I'll, get, I'll let you catch up a little bit. I'll go easy on you. Here, I'm gonna build up my stamina. There we go. Alright, now I'm coming in full force. Lone Ranger. I'm scared to shoot my gun, but if I failed the mission. Oh, here we go. Try to keep up, will you? Yeah, I will, bitch. Hold on. Idiot! Come on! Why don't I lead the way? <laughs> Okay, I think we're nearing that part where I freaking face planted a mountain rock with my horse. Oh my god, that was graphic. 
pretty awesome, honestly, but it was... Alright, here we are again. Jesus. Fuck me. It was weird. It was like, I, I wasn't even in control. The controller, like, moved left. I don't know what happened. Would you like me to slow down? Oh, look at these beautiful wild horses. All right, I need to, oh, shit. I'm marveling at the scenery here. Yeah, that's right. I'm injured and I'm kicking your ass and you own this place. Yes! Whoa. Oh shit! I thought it was over. No, 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 no! Oh. oh, God. That was really close. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. Sure. You, know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. <laughs> yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Oh, man. Dude, Bonnie is so sexy. I don't know. I'm crazy. If I was John, I'd never fucking leave this place. Hell yeah. Now we can finally do whatever we want. Alright, guys. It's been... I don't know how many minutes it's been been about 30 minutes and I think I'm gonna end it right here for part one and so that way when I start part two I can just kinda have a bunch of good action for you guys and we're gonna get a little bit more into the game and less into the intro stuff so that was a fun introduction to the game we met Miss McFarlane and oh shit I better not oh dude I'm sorry I'm sorry god damn son of a bitch I'm here, I'm going in the sheriff's office. He'll protect me. But yeah, I'm just going to save it for part two, and then we'll really dive into the... Oh, wait. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh, shit. Are you going to go after him? No way. No way. I got to see this. Oh. I thought he was going to go chase him down. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to end it for part one right here, and then if you guys want to check out part two... I will be posting that shortly in a day or so. So I hope you guys enjoy this series and I will see you for the next episode. Peace.